we are going on the record on cause number one nine three three five five Fidelity Bank, uh, uh, a division of Ameris Bank versus Sharn Brown. Uh, this we're calling our trial docket for May nineteenth, twenty twenty. Uh, Council, make your appearance. My name is Caitlin Palmarosi, and I'm here for Fidelity Bank, a division of Ameris Bank. And uh, this case has been called a uh, trial. We've uh, contacted Ms. Brown. She's, uh, from a, she's aware of the fact that this uh, trial is going forward, but uh, has decided not to appear. So we're going forward today. So uh, you may proceed. Start with opening statements. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, as I previously stated, my name is Caitlin Palmarosi, and I'm here on behalf of the plaintiff, Fidelity Bank, a division of Ameris Bank. Uh, plaintiff is seeking a final judgment in this matter. This is a breach of contract case. Defendant Sharni Brown was served and did file an answer. Uh, plaintiff is seeking a principal balance of $10,273.99 plus pre-judgment interest. We are also asking for additional charges in the amount of $251.96 in late fees, along with post-judgment interest at the contract rate of 5.74% and cost of court. As an offer of proof to the court, I have plaintiff's business records affidavit uh, containing the contract and the payment history showing the amount due. Are you offering that as exhibit one? Uh, yes, your honor. Have you provided that to the court reporter? Um, I did not email it directly to her, but it was e-filed yesterday along with a proposed judgment. Okay, you're gonna need to email the court coordinator. Tony, if you could give uh, your email address to the plaintiff's attorney. Okay, it's T as in Tony, A as in Apple, and my last name regular, R-E-A-G-O-R -E at yahoo.com. So T-A-R-E-A-G-O-R -E at yahoo.com? Yes. Okay, I'll email that right now. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and proceed. I have nothing further, Your Honor. Uh, is that your entire case? You don't want to make yes. any other... With, I, I'm not, I don't have any live witnesses to present. I'm just presenting the business records affidavit as testimony. Okay, go ahead and make your final arguments then. Uh, my closing statement is that the affidavit containing the contract and the payment history show the principal amount due. Um, and we have pre-judgment interests that, accru that has accrued from the date of uh, suit. So the total we're asking for is $11,458.29. Okay, the court will grant judgment as requested. If you could go ahead and uh, email the proposed judgment to my court coordinator, uh, Rhonda Pinson, uh, so that we can go ahead and get that signed for you, okay? Yes, I can do that. All right, anything else? That's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the live.